Thanks. So my name is Florian, and uh, I want to present you how to write Google Apps Script in, in Dart. So I have only uh, two slides, and one of them was the title. Um, mainly it's because uh, I want to make sure you understand the difference between uh, Google Apps Script and Google I APIs. So one of them, the Google Apps Scripts, is the scripting language you use, or the scripts you use to control Google Drive, Gmail, uh, spreadsheets, docs, and so on. And Google APIs is um, a RESTful uh, service where you can access many, um, a RESTful um, API where you can access many, many more Google services. Um, I use both in this talk. So Google APIs, that's the REST, and Google Apps Script, that's the uh, controlling the, the, the docs and so on. So what, um, no, that's not the one. And coming out. So what is a Google Apps Script? So here I have a, a spreadsheet. And if we go to um, Tools Script Editor, we can um, write a small script. Let's say a spreadsheet uh, app.getUI.alert, um, hello world. We save it. This is somewhere the run button. Run. And we have a hello world on the, on the spreadsheet. I mean, this is the easiest thing to do. So there are two things we don't like about the way this is uh, written with the Google Apps Editor. One is it's um, JavaScript, and the second one is, so no, no, it's not Dart. And the second one is um, it's, uh, it's not using the editor that we like, and it's not using Git and so on. So for the, um, for the first thing, not using Dart, we can actually make that work quite nicely by uh, using Dart to JavaScript and compiling to JavaScript. So here I'm in, um, I have a demo ready where I just compile with Dart to JavaScript. And the important thing here is that uh, when you compile for Google Apps Script, you need to use the CSP flag. But once you have that and a few other things, it, it kind of works. And now the, the, the second part we want is we want to take that code and, and actually get this ready for, um, get this deployed on, on our scripts. And for that, I wrote another app that um, watches a specific uh, directory, so in this case, the, the, direct, the, the file that we just compiled, then automatically uploads it using Google APIs, so we just use uh, the, the, the thing to connect to the, the drive, and then creates a, a script uh, on, on our Google Drive thing. So once we do that, um, and we load, I should load it like this, and we load the, um, the apps, you can see there is um, an add-ons uh, behind the working, there's add-ons and help. And once it has loaded enough, it actually adds now a new menu item that we created. And when I run this one, we now run the Dart Hello World. And I can show you the actual code for that. It's here, down there. And if I change that, let's say Hello Dart Conf, save it, recompile it, and watch in the background the, uh, the script that uploads. Once it's compiled, it automatically detects that it has been changed, uploads it again. And if we now go back to the, uh, the, to the uh, spreadsheet, we can now run that thing again. And it's now hello.conf. <laughs> Thank you. So I have pretty much that's the most important thing about the Google Apps scripting. It's a very nice workflow and so on. But I have prepared uh, two, more, two more demos. So if we, uh, if we go to the demo two, and again, in the background, I should, I should show this. If I compile now, it will automatically upload in the background. Uploading then. And if we now, there it is, run it again. We should get, this is a little bit of bigger. This is now a script that just uh, modified the columns and so on and uh, set the background color. And uh, the last demo just shows that it's not just Google Spreadsheets we can, that we can uh, control. We can also um, modify and create Google Docs, but let's, let's see that. So the first thing it's going to do, it's, it will show us a sidebar, so you can write sidebars. Those are actually um, HTML, so there's a little bit of HTML and so on. So if I now select or some other things, some modal dialogues. So this one now connects back to the server. 
Then uh, there's a script that runs, which is, uh, again, Dart script. In this case, I created a document, and that document now shows us that we also have a um, document, uh, Google Docs, that can be controlled from Dart. And with that, I've finished my, my talk. Thank you. Oh, yes, it's not open source yet, but I, I will try to make that happen. That's great. Thanks.